Today we're going to talk about something that we already discussed before on the first season, but some of you asked me to expand a little bit more on this concept, so today we're going to talk about that very quickly. It's going to be a quick point today. So basically what I'm referring to is the fact that you can use the minus plus operations to untangle cleanups and other bits and pieces that you did streamlined in your comp so you can separate them and pre-render them without you know having to process all of that stuff again. I'm going to use this image to illustrate what I'm about to say. So for example, let's say that you have a very complicated cleanup or paint job or whatever that might be that it's, you know, you, I'm just simulating something that the, it's a little bit silly, but I'm just trying to illustrate the point. So let's say that you have like a cloning of this adjacent area here, and then you have something that you had to, for example, paint. So let's say that you had to, you know, color this part in here for whatever reason. And uh, I don't know, you have another cleanup after that one that you'd have to, for example, remove this bit here. I'm just making things up, by the way, once again, so don't take this as a real example. In this case, this is not taking a lot of processing power, but let's assume that you're doing, I don't know, a morphing or something a little bit more laborious like that, that takes some of that power that uh, you would like to pre-comp, although, you know, it's in the main pipe of your comp, so maybe you cannot do that as easily because, you know, it's affecting the previous part of your comp and you think that in your mind you, you cannot basically, you know, extract this thing as a separate layer because it's part of the main pipe. So a way that I illustrated before is very simply you can just merge minus this bit in here like that and this will be your layer that you can then pre-comp from here and with this you'll be able to pre-comp there and add that layer with the complementary operation which is a plus here. At this point, you can pre-comp this, you take all the processing power away, and you know that you can apply this as a layer without, you know, interacting negatively with your comp whatsoever. And you are taking all this processing power away. I'm going to give you a different example in here, which is, you know, similar, but in any case, just to illustrate this point a little bit further. So this one here is actually coloring the flower in this case. So you can do the same thing. So you just separate that from, you know, whatever was before, and that result can be pre-comped now, and then can it be added later on. So from this to this. So whatever values that you have in here, they will interact complementary to your image in order for you to have exactly what you did upstream. In this other side, we have something a little bit different, which is a distortion that normally, as you can see, takes more processing from your machine. So same thing. So the difference is, this is with the distortion, this is without, okay, we're affecting the image. It doesn't really matter for the purpose. It doesn't make sense in this case that we would distort the image like this, but just to illustrate the point. So you can do exactly the same thing. So you take that transformation from the image itself, and then you're going to add this result back to the image that you can, you know, this image you can be pre-comped because you're going to add it back to the image. So this result is going to be exactly the same once you plus it back with the actual distortion. So this is what I meant at that time, and I'm just repeating myself today so I can illustrate a couple of examples in which this can be very useful. Although very simple operations, and you know me by now, simple is good. And this is something that I do quite often, which is if I have like a process that is on the main pipe and it's like a convoluted process that takes, you know, multiple inputs from other pieces of my comp or whatever there might be, I can pre-comp that separating those processes in this way and then from this point onwards I can pre-comp it, take all that process away and then my comp will be much lighter from that point onwards. If I need to change things again, no problem, I'll change them, pre-render again and put it back on as a normal pre-comp. So this is basically that workflow that we all know and are used to work with. I'm just, once again, because some of you asked me some months ago, to illustrate this point a little bit further. And this is what I meant at that time. And hopefully now you got it 100%. See left doubts, hit me up. Happy to discuss this with you again. Hope you liked it this week. See you next time.